South Carolina attorney wants answers after he says his privacy was breached on the government's troubled health care website. The story broke this weekend when a North Carolina man opened his healthcare.gov account and found someone else's private information. The Foundry, a blog published by the Heritage Foundation, broke the story. Justin Hadley, a North Carolina father, logged onto his healthcare.gov account and found downloads for letters to someone else. That someone else is Thomas Duggle, an attorney in Elgin, South Carolina, who told us he's worried about his privacy. In an email, Duggle writes, I don't know how much information has been divulged. This was not some hacker trying to hack the system. HHS sent him my information. What would happen if a true hacker attacks the site? Hadley was insured by Blue Cross Blue Shield of North Carolina. They instructed him to go to healthcare.gov after sending him a cancellation letter. Adam Dowers got a similar letter. My insurance went up from $87 a month to $315 a month. He tried shopping at healthcare.gov without any success and isn't surprised by the potential breach in privacy. Not a surprise. I don't, they can't do anything right. I just came from the DMV, so. Under federal law, health care providers like the Minnie Jones Health Center are required to tell patients what they do to protect their privacy. It's called the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act. Some now think the government could be violating its own law. We go to great lengths to make sure that that is uh, protected. Health center officials say HIPAA privacy is paramount to protecting a patient's rights. Maybe in some cases you wouldn't be hired for a job if they knew you had a certain diagnosis. So all of those things are made to protect to protect the public. A protection Duggle says he's being denied, writing, there's no online system to report security breaches to HHS. They told me to report it to the FTC. And finally, I cannot get anybody at HHS to help me with my very simple goal of simply deleting my information from the website. The Department of Health and Human Services sent us a statement from Press Secretary Fabian Levy. He says, we identified a piece of software code that needed to be fixed and that is now in place. We take security issues very seriously and we will take the appropriate steps to follow up with this individual directly.